Getting temperature, 28 degrees. 28 degrees. Starting mileage, 51526.5. 51526.5. Five, five, Day before Christmas, I actually get a polar bear ride in because it's going to start warming up again and they said Christmas Day might be 50 degrees. Today is December 17th. And I don't think anybody noticed it, but about four or five days ago we switched the Polar Bear Challenge server over to a uh, different server in Chicago so it's a little bit closer to me not that that really makes any difference on the internet but we just thought we'd get a little bit better customer service from that server I guess we weren't getting we're getting a good price but we just weren't getting the kind of service from the people that run the server machine itself so Brian was nice enough to find us a new server It doesn't really cost that much more, just a little bit more, but it's not going to be a big deal cost-wise and we'll get better response and better function. For some reason the email response was not working. The thing that generates the emails when you send out like a mass mailing or if you want to return email in case you forgot your password or want a password reset on our old server, that wasn't working right and we just weren't getting the people to respond to us and get back to us about that. And uh, it's one thing when it's a freebie, when you're when you're actually paying for it, expect a little bit better service than that. So we're at a different place that should do quite a bit better. My gosh, the wind is really—I don't know if you guys can hear that—but the wind is extremely strong today. It must be the cold front that's bringing the cold air in. Yeah, the only other time I could have gotten a polar bear right in in the last two weeks is if I'd have got up at like 1 or 2 in the morning where it just barely touched below 32 and then by the time I'd get up in the morning sometimes it'd already be above 40 and it would be between 45 and 50 for the day. Yesterday it was extremely nice out. It, uh, I think it was like something around 47 but the sun was out shining and it actually felt like it was about 60 degrees outside. So I don't know that's really made this uh Polar Bear Challenge a little bit more difficult this year. I think last year we had a little bit of it too. I don't think I was able to get a lot of rides in the first part of December, but we're talking about now. I may be not even able to get all three of my rides in by the end of December, but at least I'll have one in for the team. Mike's been doing really good. He went uh, and already got qualified, but we're not qualified as a team until I get my three rides in, so... I'm going to give you a little ride over by the church where we're working on putting a new boiler system in. I had to get up early this morning anyway at about 6.30 because I have to be there to let the guys in that are working on the boiler. Welding the pieces together. All the heavy boiler sections were put in about two weeks ago, but now it's welding the piping in for the manifold and stuff like that, so... I had to be there to let them in. <laughs> Good, I caught a little bit of a lull in the traffic here. I can show you our little nativity scene we have set up. I've been actually spending the last few weeks working on the outside lights, getting them fixed. We've got so many lights around here. And if we don't keep up on them, either the bulbs burn out or the fixtures go bad. And between the indoor and outdoor lights, we've probably got over a thousand of them. The indoor ones are really a pain in the butt because we've got two buildings just full of fluorescent fixtures. And I don't know if you guys have ever worked in a building. Huh, let them in, the truck's gone now, but... Oh, I forgot, 
before I got to show you the nativity scene over there. That yeah, truck should be here, but maybe he ran to get some parts or something like that. But yeah, trying to find good quality ballast that last any length of time at all. I mean, we're only getting sometimes a year or two from some of the ballast I put in those fluorescent fixtures. So, If you've got close to, like inside that church there, we got close to 600 fluorescent lights. And every four of them requires a, a ballast, so I never have a, like a week or two go by that I'm not changing out a ballast somewhere, plus the bulbs and stuff. There's the nativity scene. I don't know if you can see it on this wide-angle camera. It's probably quite a ways away. Maybe I could do a zoom-in shot on it or something. It's just a little white silhouette kind of deal. We have a nicer one inside the church, but I'm not going to go in right now because they're in the middle of Mass. This is daily Mass. So we'll just ride back. I'm sure this is more than three minutes. I've probably been blabbing on for quite a long time. And we'll just do the ending mileage and call it one in the books. Ending mileage. 2-1. 529.6. Six, I think that is. Two one five two nine point six. Close enough.